Great to have you with us tonight, folks. Thanks for watching here on The Ed Show on MSNBC. Today, President Obama took his Americans Job Act right into John Boehner's and John Kasich's backyard. The president brought his $447 billion plan to Fort Hayes Arts High School in Columbus, Ohio. President Obama is trying to force the Republicans to quit acting like jerks and help unemployed Americans find jobs again. I came to talk about how we can get to a place where we're creating good middle class jobs again. Jobs that pay well. Jobs that offer economic security. And the renovation of Fort Hayes is a great example of where those jobs can come from if we can finally get our act together in Washington. If we can get folks in that city to stop worrying so much about their jobs and start worrying about your jobs. 2012 is all about Ohio. Ohio has been crushed by years of outsourcing and the Republican assault on working men and women in that state. The president says his plan will put Ohioans back to work right away. Ohio, if you pass this bill, then right here in this state, tens of thousands of construction workers will have a job again. This is one of the most common sense ideas out there. All over the country, there are roads and bridges and schools just like Fort Hayes in need of repair. There's a bridge in Cincinnati that connects Ohio to Kentucky that needs this kind of renovation. There are construction projects like these all across the country just waiting to get started, and there are millions of unemployed construction workers who are looking for a job. So my question to Congress is, what on earth are we waiting for? The bridge President Obama is talking about is in Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell's state of Kentucky. McConnell blasted the president's job plan on the Senate floor today. What the president proposed so far is not serious, and it's not a jobs plan. The speeches we got yesterday only reinforced the impression that this was largely a political exercise. For one, they undermine the president's claim that it's a bipartisan proposal because much of what he's proposing has already been rejected on a bipartisan basis. The half a trillion dollar tax hike the White House proposed yesterday will not only face a tough road in Congress among Republicans, but from Democrats too. The president wants to create jobs by repairing crumbling infrastructure in this country. Meanwhile, McConnell only cares about tax cuts and defeating President Obama. Here's how one prominent left-leaning analyst put it yesterday. The president knows raising taxes is the last thing you want to do to spur job creation. He said so himself. Yet that's basically all he's proposing here. Temporary stimulus to be paid for later by permanent tax hikes. So that when the dust clears and the economy is no better off than it was after the first stimulus, Folks find themselves with an even bigger tax bill than today. You know, it is so easy to put these cards on the table. The Republicans are never going to sign on to the American Jobs Act. McConnell and Boehner, they have fought this president on every proposal that he has ever put on the table. Boehner took some time away from the golf course to look at the president's plan, and all he sees are tax increases. When you look at uh, uh, what we saw in the president's uh, pay-fors yesterday, uh, we see uh, permanent tax increases uh, put into effect in order uh, to pay for temporary uh, spending. Uh, I just don't think that's really going to help our economy uh, the, way, uh, uh, the way it could. So the tan man is going to lay out his so-called jobs package on Thursday. Boehner wasted pretty much the last nine months trying to cut, cap, and balance the government instead of creating one job. The president has spent the last three years trying to dig this country out of the deepest economic crisis since the Depression. Today, he nailed the Republicans for having warped priorities. We've got to decide what our priorities are. Do you want to keep tax loopholes for oil companies? Or do you want to renovate more schools like Fort Hayes so that construction workers have jobs again? Do you want to keep tax breaks for multi-millionaires and billionaires? Or do you want to put teachers back to work and help small businesses and cut taxes for middle-class families? 
It's all basic stuff trying to jumpstart the economy. You know, this president scores maybe 100 percent, A plus when it comes to being well intended, trying to do something to jumpstart the economy and putting people back to work. But he can't do it alone. He needs the Congress. And I'm waiting for that moment when President Obama finally admits that it was a bridge too far. It was a field over the mountain that he couldn't reach. And just admit to the American people once and for all that he's done everything he can and there's no way in hell that the Republicans are ever going to work with him on anything because they're all about power. That's all they want. That's how they operate. And when they don't have power, all they want to do is obstruct one obstruction after another. Mr. President, this is not against you in any way, but there has been a serious political miscalculation by this White House to think that just maybe, just maybe, they'll work with you on creating jobs when their stated goal is only to defeat this president. Get your cell phones out. I want to know what you think. Tonight's question, should President Obama ever trust the Republicans? Text A for yes, text B for no to 622-639. And you can always go to our blog at ed.msnbc.com for a comment. And of course, we'll bring you the results to the poll later on in the show. Now, going to Ohio, Ohio in 2012, it is going to be a huge state. And that's why we're going to be broadcasting in Toledo tomorrow night and then in Columbus, Ohio on Thursday night. And joining me now is the mayor of Columbus, Ohio, Michael Coleman, who was with the president today. Mr. Coleman, nice to have you with us tonight. I'm looking forward to being in your city on Thursday night with the Ed Show, a live broadcast, because we really want to know what the folks of Columbus and the Heartland are saying about this. And if you could just well, tell us, Mr. Coleman, are, are people in your city in Ohio, how frustrated are they with this exercise in trying to create jobs. How frustrated and how angry if they are with Washington? Well, I think the anger is directed at Congress uh, because in Columbus and around the state of Ohio, people need jobs. The poverty rate has gone up. Unemployment rate has gone up. And we need Congress to put the country before their own politics in order so people in Columbus and around the state can have a, a good job and put food on the table and shelter over their heads. And uh, this whole exercise that Congress is undergoing to oppose this job plan simply because it is the president's job plan is ridiculous and very frustrating to those on the ground. In Columbus, you heard today, thousands of people saying, pass this bill. And the yeah. challenge here that, that as the mayor of the city of Columbus, the largest city in the state of Ohio, we need jobs in our city, we need jobs in the state of Ohio, and we need it now. And Mr. Coleman, will this jobs bill help your city? Will it put people to work? Do you believe in it? Absolutely, and here's why. It'll bring over somewhere around a billion dollars to the state of Ohio for schools and equipment. And what better thing to invest than in education and construction? It'll provide summer jobs uh, for those that need summer jobs in Columbus. It'll provide permanent jobs. Uh, and it'll help with uh, vacant and abandoned housing in the, in the city of Columbus around the state of Ohio. In our school yeah. system, it will result in over $100 million dollars of school and has construction, speak, and, and we need it. Has, yeah, no doubt. Uh, a lot of cities in this country, this country needs it. Has Speaker Boehner done anything, in your opinion, to create jobs in the state of Ohio? Well, Speaker Boehner, uh, and, and he's an Ohioan, and I give him credit for that. Uh, but what we want to see out of Speaker Boehner is uh, working with the president, putting politics aside. Let's put jobs above the politics here, country above politics and self-interest. Our country is yeah. in a crisis, and we need Congress to cooperate with the president's bill.